What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again, back with uh, a little bit of a different kind of video. Uh, I'm gonna take this little mini amazing little box here and make it even more amazing. Uh, I'm gonna show you today how to hack your NES Classic or your NES Mini, depending on what you call it. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step, uh, how to go about uh, downloading the programs you need, um, where to find all your games, uh, how to load them onto, your, onto this here and make this truly uh, uh, an NES classic, truly make it a classic and, and customize the playlist to any games you want. And, um, you know, it doesn't take that long. So I'm going to get into this video. Um, first thing you're going to, you're going to need, and I'll leave all the links below in the description. It's a program called hack Chi. Um, like I said, in the description, I will leave links to both the hack Chi website, as well as where to locate and download the ROMs to load onto your NES classic. And, um, Basically, the HackChi program, I did not get into detail with it. Um, you download, go, click on the link, download the program, and it, it literally step-by-step -step everything for you. And then I did go into some detail as to where to find the ROMs and everything else. So we're going to cut to some footage here of um, basically where to find all your ROMs and everything else. And then I will show you at the end uh, the, the fully running NES Classic with my custom playlist. All right, so to get the games, you basically want to... Uh, navigate your web browser over to freeroms.com as you can see there on the left side here you just click on NES so it's highlighted and it gives you like an alphabet bar right here so basically uh, just to show you an example I'll show you how to add Paperboy uh, one of Mindy's favorites so you click on the P here which I've already brought it up but this is how it loads and then let me just zoom out a little bit here so you can see better it's kind of tough I'm trying to hold my phone to record this as I'm doing it one-handed. So uh, you scroll down the list, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of games. Ooh, Panic Restaurant, I need to get that one too. Um, but you click over here on Paperboy, click on it. Sometimes you get some questionable ads, so if something happens to pop up that's uh, you know, a little bit more adult, I apologize. Uh, for some reason lately, some, some people it works if you just click download right here. Um, for me, I've had to go through the alternate download link, which is over on the right side here. Uh, I'm not sure why, but whatever it is, what it is. Uh, it'll bring up another screen. As you can see, there's a couple screenshots of Paperboy. Uh, what you want to do is go to direct download right here and click on that. As you can see right down the bottom, it install Paperboy and it, it will come as a zip file. So from there, what you want to do, minimize your browser, minimize that. All right, so what I want to do here, um, the directory where I keep all of my NES uh, emulated files is right here. I already have it open. Um, you just need to have one place that you keep them all just to keep it straight. And then actually, if you go back in the browser, you click in on Windows, basically, if you click right here, it opens it up in a file or in a new window. Close that down or minimize it. And then what I do, instead of having to like extract all the files, because you don't need any of these readmes, if you can see right here the readme, you don't need that. So paperboy.nes, that's the, the files that you want are always .nes. So if you see right there, uh, there it is. So I click and drag, just basically drag it over to the directory where you're keeping all your games. And then you can minimize that, minimize that. That's my grandfather and my daughter. So everyone collectively, aw. So you wanna go back into your hack chi. As you can see, some of these, these are some of the games I already have installed. And then what you do is you click right here to add more games. I apologize for the, if it's grainy, uh, but it is what it is, uh, cause I'm filming on a phone. And then basically I already have it set to the directory cause I've been adding files already. So you scroll down, as you can see, there is paperboy.nes. So you double click that. And then as you see on the left side, Paperboy has been added to my list of games already. Uh, over here now, on the right side, you have uh, under game options. Uh, this, this right here is going to be how it comes up on your main menu of your NES Classic. So I want to take the caps away and type it normally. Uh, max players, it's either one player at a time two players not at the same time so like uh 
that would be basically Paperboy when you play two players. So you, we want to click this button for Paperboy. Uh, two players simultaneously, games like River City Ransom, uh, I want to say the Ninja Turtles Arcade, uh, TMNT2, uh, stuff like that. When the players play at the same time, that's that would be this button here. Uh, release date does not matter. Publisher really truly doesn't matter. Now, this is your box art. Um, if you leave it blank, it's going to be blank when you bring it up. And why is why is my antivirus guard coming up? Uh, which is an ad. This laptop is very slow. Um, so basically what you want to do is, I, me as a perfectionist, and I like to have everything done, um, I have to have box art for everything. So literally all you do is click right here on Google. What happens is it brings up a window and it will automatically load box art for the game in question. As you can see, there's different shades of blue. Uh, to me, the original one is this one right here in the top left corner. What you do is you, you know, obviously you take your mouse, just double click. It will automatically fill it in right there. And that's about it. So that's pretty much how you go from start to finish on downloading, downloading the ROM from free, freeroms.com, uh, unzipping it, dragging the file over to uh, a directory that you know you'll remember where it is for me i have it right on my desktop right here as you can see it says nes mini hack uh that's that's the directory i put everything in for for the nes mini and then uh you add them in and that's about it so uh you add them in you just alter any of this information here um get your uh box art and then I will show you after hooking up the NES um, Classic to the computer, I will show you how to sync everything up. All right, guys, I just took care of downloading all the games I wanted to load on to my mini. So as you can see, there's a huge list right there. Snow Brothers, obviously, a spoiler alert. Uh, so what you want to do, take your NES mini, and then you want to hook up the, the uh, mini USB uh, for your power right there. Hook up the other end into your USB drive. Now, in order to power it up, you want to have your, your hack cheat program running and ready with all your games checked off. I just want to make sure I have everything. Yeah, everything's good. Everything's checked off. So what you want to do is you want to hold. Let me see if I can do this. Hold your, your reset button. Hold that in and then press the power and listen for a ding. If you heard that just now, you now can let go of your reset button. It basically recognizes the uh, NES Mini as a USB drive or a flash drive. As you can see, the power button is, let me see if I can get it to focus here. It is pushed in, but the light is not on. And I have a dog here on my Mini. Um, so it's basically now in, in the mode ready to go. Let me see if I can get it focused over here. All right, cool. Sorry for the shaky camera work. I don't have any kind of tripod in action right now. So anyway, uh, I've got all my games preloaded right here. Uh, what you want to do at that point is hit synchronize selected games with NES Mini. It says uploading games. Now, if as you can see right here, I have 83 games going into my NES Mini. Uh, it is going to take a few minutes. So I will come back to you after that's all finished up. All right, so the kernel was built. It is now uploading everything at the moment. You'll see it finish now. It says done. Wait until the power LED goes out and restart the mini. So if you look over here, the light just went out. So you wanna restart the mini by hitting reset. And that should all be good. So you just click the OK button right here. And that's it, guys. So uh, the next shot you're going to see, I'm going to switch over to the Elgato capture, and I will capture and go through all the games I put onto my mini just now. All right, guys, as you can see here, we're going to start off with the A's. Um, all my 83 games are loaded in here. We start out with A Boy and His Blob, uh, followed by Adventure Island, Arkanoid, Bad Dudes, uh, Ninjas Kidnap the President, <laughs> Uh, baseball Stars, best baseball game on the system by far. Uh, Bases Loaded, just a nostalgic game for me. Um, that's mainly just because of the fact that I really loved playing that as a kid, and uh, it's just a nostalgic game, and I, not exactly the best game in the world. Uh, Batman, classic. Battletoads, a classic. 
Blaster Master. Bubble Bobble 1, Bubble Bobble 2. Bubble Bobble 2 being one I will probably never be able to afford in my collection. Uh, Casino Kid. Absolutely fun game. Castlevania, obviously you know that game. Chippendale Rescue Rangers 1 and 2. Both on the system, which is awesome. Uh, Chubby Cherub, a uh, little rare game that a lot of people don't know about, but it is a lot of fun. I do have this in my collection, and um, it's just a lot of fun to play. It's a you know, good time to try to compete for high scores. Uh, Commando, just a lot of fun as a kid. Uh, decent game, but you know, m more nostalgia for me. Uh, Contra, I mean, there is no other Contra game. I mean, as you can see, I have no other Contras on here. Uh, Cowboy Kid, another rare game I do have in my collection. I was fortunate enough to pick this up uh, for a cheap price at a flea market. And uh, was able to get that, and uh, it's, it is fun. I mean, Pixel Sandwich and I love playing this game. It's, it's a good time, so Cowboy Kid had to be on there. Uh, Devil World, uh, only released in uh, Japan. Uh, Miyamoto's only game that didn't come out in the United States, and uh, I had to find the ROM and put it on here because I love that game. It's like a Pac-Man type, you know, eat the pellets kind of thing. Uh, Double Dribble, uh, pretty much the only basketball game I love playing on the NES. Dr. Mario Classic, DuckTales 1 and 2. Uh, you got Excite Bike. That's uh, mainly for my daughter. She loves Excite Bike. Felix the Cat, another uh, rare oddity. Um, that one is basically um, just a really good platformer. It's getting hard, harder and harder to find. The value is actually rising on the cartridge. Uh, again, I was lucky enough to get it for like ten bucks uh, a couple years ago in a lot from eBay. And um, yeah, so I mean, Felix the Cat, really good platformer. Flintstone Surprise at Dinosaur Peak, of course, that's like one of the legendary games. Again, one I will probably never have in my collection because of the price. Uh, currently running between $1,000 and $1,500 for a cartridge. Um, I will not spend that kind of money. So I had to put it on here so I could play it. Uh, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, and G.I. Joe, The Atlantis Factor. Two really good games. Uh, Gargoyles Quest 2, really good game from Capcom. Goonies 2, just a nostalgia game for me. Not exactly the greatest game in the world, but just a game I enjoyed playing as a kid. We've got Ice Hockey, to me the only hockey game. I know Blades of Steel was pretty good, but this is the one I put on my team. Yeah, put all my time into as a kid. Uh, Jaws, terrible game. Again, nostalgia for me. Uh, Jetsons, Cogswell's Caper. Getting more and more uh, rare, harder to find. Um, again, was lucky enough to get this about five, six years ago. And uh, is a great game. Kickle Cubicle, another game that a lot of people have not heard of. Uh, one I suggest putting onto your NES Mini if you're going to hack it. Really, really fun puzzle game. Kid Icarus, just a classic. Kid Clown, another one getting rare and high in price, but a lot of fun as well. Again, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money, uh, just download it and hack into your uh, NES Mini and put it on here. Uh, it's a really good game. Kid Nicky Radical Ninja, not the... Not, oh, I actually spelled it wrong. I put Radical Nina. <laughs> That's a that's the uh, that's the porno version, <laughs> but anyway, uh, Kid Nicky is one of Pixel Sandwich's favorites. It's a nostalgia for me because it's his favorite game. So, followed by my favorite game, Kung Fu, uh, absolute classic. Legend of Zelda, of course, has to be on there. Little Samson, again, one that's too expensive, and I probably will never own the cartridge. Maniac Mansion, one of the classics, uh, one of the cult classic games that you absolutely have to have on your uh, collection or in your collection. Mega Man One, Mega Man Two, Three, Four. 5 and 6. Again, I do see some screw-ups on the titling of these. I have to go back and fix that. But uh, 4, 5, and 6 just say Mega Man. But from the picture, you get the idea. All 6 Mega Mans. Metroid, classic game. Mighty Final Fight, one of the better beat-em-ups on the system other than River City Ransom. Put up by Copcom. If you like the Final Fight games, you'll like this one. They're just kind of uh, like little mini people rather than the full size. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Uh, cannot have regular Punch-Out. You have to have Mike Tyson. Uh, North vs. South. Again, that game is climbing in value as of late as well. And um, basically, uh, it's, you know, it's like a strategy game. Uh, like a strategy board game type thing. But it's a lot of fun. Panic Restaurant, another really rare game I don't have and probably will never own. Paperboy, absolute classic, one of Mindy's favorites. Pinball, I remember playing this with my dad as a kid. Very, very, very simple pinball game, but just a lot of nostalgia, a lot of memories for me playing with my dad. Uh, RC Pro-Am, lots of memories playing this with my cousins. Uh, Rainbow Island's a really good, uh, fun game. It's kind of like uh, Bubble Bobble 1.5 in a way. It, it follows the same characters. Rampage, a lot of fun. Renegade, played this game like crazy when I was a kid. Um, one, one of the first beat-em-ups other than Kung Fu that I played as a kid and, and absolutely still love it to this day. Ring King, uh, it's all about the, the mid-round, the, the in-between round blowjobs. I mean, enough said. River City Ransom, one of the best games on the system, one of my favorites. Uh, one of the original beat-em-ups and way ahead of its time. 
Shatter Hand, I don't have a lot of experience with, but people have been telling me to put it on here, so I did. And I'm going to try it out and play it. Uh, Smash TV. Uh, One Pixel Sandwich's favorites again, and just a really, really good game. Uh, Snow Brothers. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find this actually pretty darn cheap and uh, add to my collection on cartridges. And, uh, you know, again, just for the ease, ease of uh, playing it on here, I threw it on here. Super Dodgeball, uh, just a lot of fun. A lot of uh, same sprites as River City Ransom. Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, you have to have on there, of course. Uh, Ivan Stewart, Super Off-Road, another favorite of mine as a kid. Super Sprint, another favorite of mine as a kid. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, the only football game on the system as far as I'm concerned. Ninja Turtles 1, Nostalgia Factor, shitty game, but fun to play uh, remembering uh, being a kid. TMNT 2, the arcade game, uh, I think the best Turtles game on the system. Tetris, of course, I mean, what's Nintendo without Tetris? Vegas Dream, I mean, you have to have Vegas Dream. My dad and I played this to no end uh, when I was a kid, and it's just a fun, fun game. Uh, Vice Project Doom, again, another game I own I have not played yet, so I do have to... Um, give that a whirl. Um, Pixel Sandwich basically told me I have to play that game, and so I threw it on here. Uh, Wacky Races, I, again, just another one that's getting up there in price and just one I want to play. Wall Street Kid, Pixel Sandwich, I know you're laughing right now, but it is what it is. Uh, I actually enjoy this game a lot. Uh, Pixel Sandwich likes to refer to it as Spreadsheet the Game or Excel the Game. Uh, it, it's basically you're buying and trading stocks and trying to make money. I mean, that's really, truly the, the uh, purpose of the game. Uh, we've got Wario's Woods, another just fun game. Wheel of Fortune, just played that a shit ton as a kid and had to put it on here. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, I will eventually beat this game. <laughs> I still have not beaten this since I was a kid. And uh, I love it, though. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Wampum, another good game from the same makers as uh, Bases Loaded. And then finally, you have Widget by Atlas. Uh, if you remember the Widget games from back in the day. Um, that is just uh, an absolutely awesome game to find and put onto your NES Classic. So that wraps up my 83 games, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and, and can understand my tutorial and everything from, from the instructions I gave. And uh, let me know in the comments below what games you're putting on your NES. Uh, let me know if it works or not. If it doesn't work and you need some help, drop me a, a message, drop me a PM, drop me a comment, whatever. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys found this interesting uh, and informative. And until next time, guys, this is AC Card Shark. Take care.